C program to count number of vowels and consonants in a string. Let us understand what are vowels and what are the consonants. So in English language, when we talk about the alphabets from A to Z, A, E, I, O, U, whether they are lowercase or uppercase, A, E, I, O, U, they are called as the vowels and others, you know, just sub subtract this phi from A to Z, all others are consonants. So, how the program is going to look like? We will ask the user to enter the string and we will keep it in the array. So, what is an array? What is this string? String is nothing but the array of characters. So, this can be assumed to be an array. So, all these are the different elements of array followed by slash 0 because we are dealing with C slash 0 that is the this is the terminating character. Now, what we will do, we will try to run a loop, whatever is being inserted or given by the user and we will run a loop and try to match each and every element by A, E, I, O, U. If it is A, E, I, O, U, then we will say it is the number of vowels and we will increment, we will take uh, say increment uh, variable and then we will just increment it. Otherwise, if it is not there, then we will increment the consonant. Uh, variable. Finally, this should print that is the how many vowels or consonants you have uh, this the strings you have entered contains so that will be printed. So, let us see the program directly. Here uh, all these customary things you need to do that is if you, if you are using C program then this stdio.h and choreo.h etc. But here we have explicitly used or included string.h and this is for this get as function. So, first of all, we need the user to enter the string for that we will keep it in an array. So, this is an array and array you can take uh, you know the way how much long you want it it is up to you. So, this is an array named s of 1000 characters or 1000 spaces. Then we have the I will come to this one. First is printf that is we will ask for the string and then we will take the string using this get as function get us is get string function and this get us function will take the string and put it in this in this array that is the string of characters or, or the array of characters which is a string. Now, we have the input string in this this array we will start with 0 we will go up to s i and this s i till slash 0. So, when s i you can just go up to s i or go up to the end or you can say is not equal to slash 0. This also you can do. So, these are the two options whether you can you want to go up till end or you can just terminate use this s i that is the la, the slash 0 is not not uh, reached is not equal to slash 0 you continue and now inside this we have an if loop. If loop is this is s i is greater than equal to 65 s i is less than equal to 90. Now, the string has been inserted or given by the user you do not know that better whether it is he has given 5 or whether he has given say y you do not know that. So, you have to be very careful about that we need to have or we need to search only for the alphabets he has given not for the numbers. So, we need to check that whether it is from 65 to 90 that is from this is capital A to capital Z. 97 from uh, 97 to 122 these are, these are the ASCII, num ASCII numbers from small a to small z. Okay? Now, once it is being uh, we are satisfied that it is capital A to z and small a to z user has given small a to z or capital A to z. Now, we will again have a if and will match this si with a e i o u with a pipe sign pipe is for or and we are checking it for capitals also capital A small a like this capital U small u all these that is we have to have 10 options along with this pipe pipe sign is for or. So, any of this is, is true we have a variable vowels which is initiated or in, or in you can say declared and and initiated as 0. So, now you can just increment it 
if it is vowel otherwise if it is not vowel then you increment this consonants variable which is again initialized as zero so you can just say that it is consonant consonant plus plus finally when you come out of this loop you just print the vowels that is this number and consonants which is this number and then just return so this is a, a test run of this program and 3 and 7 will come